Hey guys, what's up? It's Adrian. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. So, forgive me for the dim lighting, um, but I'm back at Paul's. Now, you guys know that I've raved about him for years. Honestly, for years. Again, you two, please don't copyright me. You guys did that for the Cuba Cabana video. Cabana video. Please don't. Right, so, um, I'm here. I mean, it's been a while. And I'm back. I'm excited. So we have a chocolate croissant. We have a creme brulee. It's gonna fall. Um, a favorite of mine, pistachio macaroon, macaroon, whichever one you want to say. And something that's extremely delectable and it looks fantastic is the strawberry tart. We also have a uh, decadent chocolate mousse cake. So, um, to top everything off, um, I was given the bottle of Louis Charles. So, yeah, I mean, makes things better. I mean, why not? You know, why not? Um, in terms of the cost of everything, I'll tell you. It was $45 and I mean that's not really bad because I mean the shopping was complimentary so I was appreciative of that. Um, we spoke about my first time visiting and all of that so I'm gonna dig in because I mean everything looks so great. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do anything about the dim lighting because that's how things are over here. Um, forgive the bag in the back, I did some shopping. So I'm just gonna stick with a favorite of mine. Um, I had this when I first visited back in 2018. So it's a chocolate croissant. I wish we had smell of a shirt. It's it's so tender. It's flaky. I see again. I can't even speak. So so it's everything that I remembered. Honestly, I think it's even better. The light flaky layers, the rich, semi-sweet chocolate, the sliver crisp almonds on top knocks this out of the pop. I mean, I sound biased. Again, this is a hard 10 out of 10 because it's freshly made every day. And a lot of time and effort was made into creating this. So. I mean, wow. Wow. Next up, we have Creme Brulee. And I mean, who doesn't love good Creme Brulee? So, I am sorry for the other rude people. So, I mean, let's try it. The short cross pastry, last I remember, was amazing. So, wow, the custard is well balanced, the custard didn't break, um, the only thing that's, it, it, that is missing is um, the sugar that you would have to um, crack, um, that was done prior, so it got a bit soft, um, the toasty flavor is still there. But I would say that's what's missing. So I would say like an 8 out of 10. But I mean, if you don't care about that, it's a hard 10 out of 10. Like, it's the cost of everything. The berries look perfect. They seem to be extremely fresh. Um, I appreciate the little tag that's placed on top of most things. So, yeah, again, um, the short cross pastry, but it's not pastry, I would say it's just um, shortbread straight up. Um, it's light, it's flaky, but yet it's still dense. You get that intense butter flavor. And I think that's what it's about. Um, it's not extremely sweet way. Um, it's bleeding your throat, it just leaks. 
so enough about that. So I mean, the sugar that was placed on top of this um, still has a hard shell, so that tells me that this one was done first. No, last. What am I saying? Um, the custard at the bottom, you could tell that it's extremely rich and you know, so. Um, wow. This is. So, what could actually happen with this? Because the sugar is too hot, they can actually temper with the strawberries and they are not crisp and fresh. That didn't happen at all, which tells me again they know what they're doing. I mean, French pastry is just. I think it's an art, it's not even a science. And again, they have it down packed 15 out of 10. You can't get better than this. So this is the chocolate mousse cake and I mean this looks amazing. So let's just dig in. My pork went in like butter. I I, I can't speak. Again, the little poor tart. So, <laughs> wow. It was everything that you would expect. It's extremely, extremely decadent. Like, wow. I feel like this is something um, you treat yourself to. Um, I mean, even though I um, clearly do it that, but this is excellent. The mousse, it's balanced, it's airy. Um, there are no gritty bits because um, sometimes that happens when um, chocolate mousse actually stays for a while. The cake is light and fluffy. The chocolate ganache is great. It didn't split. Um, it wasn't burned uh, burn and you didn't get the alcohol taste. It's just smooth like the nash should be. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out. It's going to be linked in the description below for my recipe. I mean, come on. It, this is everything someone could have asked for. I think the best for last, but I mean, I think everything was, I mean, pretty spectacular. So, the pistachio macaron. I have high hopes now with this. It can either go terribly great, terribly bad. I can't remember if I ever had a macaroon here. I honestly can't remember. The best thing was the chocolate croissant when I visited. So, let's see, let's see. It does seem to have actual pistachios in it, so it's not just flavoring alone. So, I, this is like I mean, this is why I love doing this. So, um, this, this, <laughs> wow. You gotta give me a map. Overall, I would say this is, I mean, the experience I expect. This is the standard I expect. Um, <clears throat> there isn't anything bad to say. As I said, the only complaint I had was the sugar on the creme brulee. It wasn't crisp at all. But again, that happens the condensation, the, the um, what do you call it, the moisture from the custard itself would cause that problem. So, it's fine. Um, overall, I would say, honestly, everything is a hard 10 out of 10. Um, it's, it's just that good. Um, the experience is great. Um, I actually met someone from Guyana who works here. So, I mean, 
it's interesting. Um, I would also add that you know the ambience is great. Um, it's very peaceful. The music's great. Um, the staff is extremely helpful. Excuse me. And it's overall just an amazing experience. Um, they do offer food as well. Um, I'll see if I get their menu. Um, I got as a dog. Um, there's someone with a really adorable dog right across from me. Um, I would say again that there's nothing bad that I can actually see. Honestly, there's nothing bad that I can actually see. Maybe the, um, you know, a, a, a faster service because they are packed. Um, they are packed, so there's a lot of people. Um, so possibly that, but you know what? It's fine because it's worth the wait and it's worth actually having the experience. Um, please visit. It's a Sawgrass Mall um, where the outlet stores are, for example, like the high end, if you want to call it that. That's where they are. Um, you'll see a sign that says Paul. Um, there are seats on the inside on the outside. And it, it's just something that you have to visit and something that you have to be. Um, if you like my channel then you'll definitely like here because it's just like the things that I would make and things that I would want for myself so yeah that's it for today um thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe you're awesome for doing that I know I didn't say it in my last video I apologize I saw some of you sent me a message on IG and I just forgot because you know what guys again I would have said oh I slapped myself um I needed that break um from filming and now that I'm back um, it, it takes me a minute to get back into gear but I think I'm here with lots more to show you guys um, and I'm just excited for everyone to see um, you know thank you for being patient and understanding that you know what things take time so yeah have a great one bye